on, where'd all my website traffic go? That's what we're talking about today. If you've got a big drop in website traffic, what do you do so you can figure out what went wrong and how to get it back? Okay, so the first thing to understand is that when you have a drop in website traffic, it's usually the result of a couple things, right? So it can be an analytics tracking code error. So that's the first thing that you wanna check, right? Is your analytics messed up? Because if that's the case, then all you need to do is fix it and it comes back. Another thing that could be the issue is it could be the result of a Google algorithm update. Check the latest news and kind of figure out, um, was there an update that went out? Also. It can be the result of getting a penalty inside of Google, and that can result in a big drop in website traffic as well. In order to figure that out, if it's a manual action, you can go inside a Google Search Console and you can click the manual action button and find out if or not you in fact got a manual action penalty. And then another thing that happens a lot is maybe your website is broken. A URL could have broken, you could be having server errors. Um, there's a lot of different things that could cause that. So those are kind of some of the main buckets that you want to think about, right? Is it analytics? Was it an algorithmic update? Did you get a penalty or did your website just break? And when you kind of think about things in those buckets and you go through a process to diagnose that, you're going to be able to figure out what went wrong and where your traffic went. When it comes to an analytics tracking error, it's usually analytics code uh, not installed correctly on the page, right? Just a, a normal analytics tracking error where maybe it's not firing through Google Tag Manager, or it could also be a split testing error where you are running some type of split testing software for conversion rate optimization and that's kind of killing things. But the number one thing on the analytics side is take a look and see if the code is on the page as a first step. Now, sometimes it can be a Google Search Console error. So if you're not familiar with what Google Search Console is, it's basically something provided by Google that allows you to see how Google's interpreting your website. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your URL parameters are basically configured correctly because that can result in a big drop of traffic. You wanna make sure that somebody didn't go in and remove a URL with the URL removal tool, right? That can take an entire URL or even an entire homepage out of the index. So, so that's a very important thing as well. You'll want to go in and test with the Robots TXT tester tool to make sure that your website's not blocked with Robots TXT. You can just go to example.com forward slash Robots TXT and make sure that your homepage isn't blocked. That and then having a no index no follow are two of the main ways that we see people lose a ton of traffic. Um, also, make sure that you have the correct geo settings and that somebody didn't go into Search Console and they didn't set up your website to rank in Canada when in fact you're a US company. Okay, a couple other technical things that happen a lot is incorrect rel canonical tags. So there might be a whole bunch of rel canonicals pointing from one area of your site to another area of your site. And basically what that does is that tells Google, don't rank this area, rank this area, and then you result in a big drop of traffic. So that can definitely be something uh, to watch out for. Also, you need to watch out for incorrect redirects. So in some cases, you'll see that there's URLs redirecting from one area to another that shouldn't be. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen that kill a website's traffic. Somebody set up incorrect redirects. You can see that by using a tool like Deep Crawl, Screaming Frog, SEMrush to crawl the website and make sure that all your redirects are in the right place. Another thing that happens a lot with big drops in traffic is 404 errors that you didn't even think were happening, right? So you can go and use these crawling tools that I just mentioned, or another option is to go into Google Search Console and look at your crawl errors report and then filter it by date and then see if you have any fresh 404 errors. That can be a really good way to see if pages are breaking and if you're having issues, and that happens way more often than you would think. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go inside of Google Analytics and you're gonna wanna do a review. So look at your top landing pages that lost traffic, right? Look at the top um, sources and mediums that lost traffic. 
Look at the top keywords that lost traffic and look at the top browsers that lost traffic. Um, go through each of these technical elements and then gather all the information that you can because that's gonna tell you where you lost the traffic from, what URLs it was on, what sources it came from, and then you can pinpoint the issue. And if you're able to do that, it makes it much easier to diagnose. You're also gonna to wanna to go into Google Search Console and check things like your site messages, your site queries report, right? So you'll see if, if you lost actual traffic specifically from Google, which can often be the case because most website traffic is from Google. You're gonna to wanna to check your crawl errors report. You're gonna to wanna to go in and do a full analysis of Google Search Console, and that's gonna give you some good data so that you can further pinpoint the issue. Another thing is if, if you do find that it's a Google issue, a Google ranking issue, you can go into a tool like SEMrush and you can check to see if there was a drop in specific keywords. So SEMrush allows you to see what keywords went up, what keywords went down. You'll be able to see what went down. You can filter that by landing page, find out which landing pages have the biggest drop, take a look at those landing pages and put them into a crawler tool. And then you can see if they're 404ing or blocking or if anything changed. Um, there's also a tool called the Wayback Machine. You can look at the last version of the page, potentially somebody updated that or, or something like that. But it's always a good idea to, to use a couple third-party tools um, like an SEM rush. And then also, if you want to double check to see if it's a Google update, you can always look at things like MozCast uh, to see if there was a large uh, change in, in algorithms and things like that. So you want to determine, was it an algorithmic update? Was it something that I changed or broke on my site? or was an analytics tracking issue. And then once you figure that out, these tools will be much more helpful for you. One other thing you might wanna look at is, is if it is a Google issue, it, it's always a good idea to get an idea of what's going on with your backlinks because you could have gotten a penalty from links. You can go inside a Google Search Console and you can see all the latest links that they picked up inside of Google. You can also use Majestic and you can use SEMrush and you can use AREFs to see all the links that have come into your website and then determine are those quality, are those links that you uh, wanted to have, are they pointing at specific pages pages where there was a drop, and that's gonna give you a little bit more information. Okay, so summing up a drop in website traffic, it's never fun, it can be kind of scary. I will say most of the time, it's an analytics tracking error where analytics code is not installed on the page. So check that first. After you've done that, Go through these other steps that I talked about. Go into analytics, look at the top landing pages report, look at the uh, medium and source report. Go through every single portion of it and then analyze those drops by dates and look at period over period so that you can understand really where the drops were and what specific URLs and what specific areas. Go through Google Search Console and then try to figure out were there specific errors in there that resulted to this drop. And then don't forget basic things, right? Don't forget to check your robots.txt file to see if you block the entire website. Don't forget to see if there's a no index, no follow on your site that you accidentally put on there. Crawl the website, make sure there's not a rel canonical issue that's, that's pushing all your, your authority to one area and causing the rest of the area to drop. Also, in some cases, duplicate content can be a huge issue, so that's another thing to watch out for. Make sure that you didn't accidentally push a duplicate version of your site live or a duplicate section of your site live and that a competitor didn't copy your website and push that live on another domain causing that to be ranked instead of your main site. Good luck with your diagnosing of your drop in website traffic. I hope you get your traffic back quick. I know that can be scary. If you need help, call us at Ignite Visibility. Have a great day.